as the moon rises into the air over there very laggly if it wants to load as you can hear we have got villagers here my name is buddy 2 and welcome back to skycade as you can see this villager breeder works really well it pumps out the villagers i have moved it over just slightly a little bit let's just fall down that ladder there but i'll show you look at look at the farm here it is getting stacked up i've added automatic dispensers so the items all can drop down into one sort of storage system sort of area that is because well yeah i wasn't sure how to get it all down into one place so it is a really simple design it's pretty much just a normal dispenser system there whoops that was wasn't meant to do that there let's just quickly hop up here as you can see as you can see if i'm holding it picks up when an item goes through there and sends a burst going straight through and then into this block here and dispenses the item which is really good and in today's episode we will be working on an iron farm i have actually done a bit of progress on an iron farm as you will be able to see just over here but we will be building a second tier to it to help try and boost the amount of iron that we produce this is a very simple iron farm design which i've never built before but i built this the other day just after I'd done that lovely mob farm because I had enough villages except when I did the villages I had them come up went around the ramp and I forgot to put a block in so I had like 20 villages all stacked up down there but anyway this is what the farm looks like and I'm going to be bringing villages that I've got hidden down below here up around here and I'm going to send them into the chute 64 or 65 blocks up into the air high enough not to interfere with this other farm down below and that's what we're going to be building today and then we're going to be doing a few other projects over the next couple of days as well as you can see here we have we, most things that, like this is square the farm here is square this here is square this this thing here is, looks very um not square at all but it is yeah and then we've got the oblong there a few oblong rectangle oblong i think it's oblong probably incorrect anyway but we're going to be building ourselves a lovely sugarcane farm which will be going along there and then i'm thinking we're going to get rid of all of the structure here the villager breeder will be lowered down because i want to tie this area out get some lovely trees in here eventually custom trees and we're going to put in a lovely melon farm here which i've come up with it is sort of a design i've come up with and also that is going to be square as well so it's going to be stacked up exactly like this one here so we're going to have towers of farms going around well the village breeder is going to be low but that is the original plan so let's get right into working on this lovely iron farm i'm going to get, the, get myself up into the air there and we can start working on building this in sort of a little very quick time lapse form if it turns out hopefully it does okay let's get right into it Okay, friend, hope you enjoyed that lovely little time lapse of me perched up there. That was pretty quick. Look at that, how to speed it up a little bit more without being at all juddery. So it was quite quick. So now, there we go. That, that's the lovely villager, or I should say, iron farm now completed. Let's just quickly remove that block there. And well, I'll tidy up this afterwards. I don't want to place another block up there. Okay, so now it is time to work on ourselves on a lovely. Well, pumpkin farm, yes, but not pumpkin farm. We want melon because we cannot sell any pumpkins on this server, really. Not a shop anyway. So that is the plan for now. We're going to get right into working on a lovely pumpkin melon. I'm probably going to say this multiple times. A melon farm. So let's quickly just grab ourselves a lovely shovel. And this is where the farm is going to be, it's going to be built. So I need to quickly go ahead and I need to just kind of take out a whole lot of this here. Just and smash this area now. And this is where the farm will be going. So it's seen here and we go in one, two, three, and this is where we are going to be placing ourselves a, a lovely all well, this is where the plants can be going. And then we're gonna be having an observer going here. And since it's on the ground, we're gonna have to try and 
place it down. I, it's, I find it a pain having to place observers because they never seem to want to go in the correct position. So let's place it down there. There we go. So that means we've got three going along here. And that means we will be digging down this area by another couple blocks just so this is where we're going to have a water flow going through here. So next to the observer we then go ahead and we have to place in ourselves our pistons which go either side here. Then we take out this area here and we place in ourselves, oh I need to quickly grab some mice, let's just quickly grab that. Okay, I've grabbed that ice now. All you have to do is place in a bit either side, and this is to keep the lovely water hydrated by placing it straight under there. I think by design I actually had it underneath the observer. But anyways, we place ourselves some lovely sea lanterns up there, and we take out another position here, place another piston, two bits going around there of oh, diorite, the most okay block there and I have just had some lovely dark oak soul which is probably the first lot I've had sold for a while so I'm going to just go do some more mining of that there so then we'll chopping chop out that there place in another light and then do repeat the same going around to complete the whole bottom so I'm going to quickly go and do that and I'll see that in a second here we go everyone, here is the design for this little farm here, it's got a bit of wasted space in the middle but I'm not sure what to really do with that, might put a little maybe mini cactus farm or something in the middle there. But how this farm works is we have got our light sources here and this is where we have our lovely melons located. So either side, so we have one in front of the zuba and when this here grows up fully and as soon as a melon grows here, it will then sense the triggering of this here changing size and trigger the pistons to fire out. So this is how this farm is pretty simple really. Pretty easy design. And I chose to use you bleh, sorry. I chose to use this as a design, as it is a square design. And it well it fits well with all my square bases in that, as I had said previously. Was that the SARS video? I can't even remember. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tear this building up or tear this farm up so then it looks nice and tall. And to do that, we have to add ourselves another layer, which I don't know why I just jumped down there for. And I have no dirt on me. Okay, so let's just quickly try and hop up here and find where I've got a chest of a dirt, which is located over here. So I'm going to open it there up, if it will allow me, and I'm going to go ahead and you have to leave a block above the top, sadly, just to prevent, or the melons just won't grow, if that there made any sense at all. So now I'm going to go around and add in this next layer, and then we're going to add in some sl lovely slabs which go above here, which go above the redstone. And this here is to hold back the liquid which we will place in to help liquidate the farms, I suppose you could call it. So that goes along here and we have to fill in that little gap either end as well because I discovered that water will definitely flow out of there. I think that there is uncorrect. And then on top of that there, we then add in some lovely oak wood slabs which go across the top there and that here as you can see is where the redstone goes and to prevent any blocks from just randomly firing out the back there we then have glass that goes along so now i have to go ahead and place in all the observers which i've just realized is going to be a little bit more trickier now that i have got nothing to back against so i'm going to do that there and work on topping out this farm I'm not going to do any more time lapse things because it's enough for this video. And I'll see you guys once I have 
well, stack this up a lot more high than what it is. I'll see you guys very shortly. Here we go, everyone. It has been, well, I've been sitting here for about 40 minutes now, and, well, it has started to kick into action, this farm. And if we pop up here, we can see how nice and beautiful tall this building is becoming. So by the time it's finished, it should look pretty magnificent going into the skyline over there. I'm just going to pop over to the area which I haven't cleared up and show you guys what it looks like from the sky because the space is starting to come and be pieced together very well, very slowly anyway. And the iron farm has been ticking away, ticking away very well, getting quite a good amount of supplies from it there now. Hopefully I've stuck in myself some lovely coin and stuff being able to save up. So if we look from the sky here, oh yes, that is beautiful starting to stack up there. I have to come up with another farm to stack here. It could be another melon one that, that can go up there because pumpkins are pretty much useless here. And that is the plan, really. This here is going to be redesigned. I'm going to just clear out all this stuff now, which I might just quickly go ahead and do. Because, well, yeah, that's all I've got really time for to do today. And then in the next episode, or next video, if I feel like making one, we might start working on, well this lovely little area over here. I want to start building some nice little trees around here and get an area or a little jetty sort of thing going around the outside for my lovely amount of turtles I have over there. Now let's jump down through here and am I going to survive? Yes, nice and beautiful. Oh, I've actually missed there a couple of times. But I want to try and create a little turtle sanctuary down here eventually because I've got just to make it look nice because my base is actually pretty ugly at the moment. So as you can see down here, we have got a cow, but we've got a couple of turtles here. Should be a lot more turtles. I don't know where they've all gone. They might have all been in one cluster, so they've all despawned because there's a farm remover. If you can see it, no, it doesn't happen. There's a farm remover on here which removes mobs once it reaches a certain limit, and that's how I've lost a few villages up top. A few good ones with good trades as well because I've left them in there. Because they start breeding and then they just breed to the farm limits to kills them off, which is quite a bit of a pain. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to clear off this area here and see what it will look like once it's all nice and tidy. I'll show you from the top up there because it should look pretty good. See you guys in a sec again. Let's go. There we go. There we go, everyone. This is what the base looks like without that ugly big mess down there. As you can see, we've got a sugarcane farm down there, and we've got an AFK fish farm, which I really need to get rid of, plus a little egg farm down there, plus all that ugly sand, which is from when I built a lovely little turtle farm, and I've missed it, haven't I? Uh, that was smart, wasn't it? Okay, so I think to end off this video, I'm going to get rid of these lovely little poor farms here. I actually destroyed that one there before we're falling on it. But we're getting rid of these melon farms here and they've just been sitting there producing melon since pretty much day one of this world or day one of the base. So that's pretty cool. There has been a lot more melons in this. I have been selling them or giving them away to people. But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to be doing for today is showing off that there's going to be a shorter video. And, well, I might just do a very quick little time lapse at the end of this video of me going into the mining world and collecting some resources because I'm getting quite short on mining stuff. By mining stuff, I mean redstone because redstone just goes and flies off my shelves in my store as well. Because people, people, there can never be enough redstone and there can never be a good time where I moderate or voice good. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one on this lovely Skycade server. So let's cue that lovely outro once I have done this little time lapse. So let's get right into an hour of mining. And thanks for watching.